The video you're about to see is on the 2023 brand new Road Trek Pivot. I am giving this RV best of show for the 2023 Florida RV Super Show because the floor plan is so unique. Enjoy the video. And we got a new floor plan for you. This is from Road Trek, and this is Nick from Sunshine State RVs. Do you guys know him? Yes. He's a great guy. Nick, thanks for the time uh, this morning. Really appreciate it. Yeah, Scott, thanks for having me on, man. I appreciate it. Uh, no worries. Tell us about this new floor plan. So I understand this has won some awards. Tell us about that. Yeah, no, so this is the 2023 Road Trek Pivot. This is the Slumber. Um, it has won the award from RV Business as the, as the top new Class B RV in 2023. Wow. Yes, yeah, uh, uh, pretty amazing that it's so new, and then it's already it's already won the awards. And I can tell why right out of the gate. So we're sitting in the front room. This table is amazing. Yeah. Um, show us the magic. Yeah, no, it's great. So both seats are swiveled right now. We do have two seats there that have three point seat belts on them, which people really like. Kind of like your, kind of like your Travato G yeah. that has that floor plan Very there. Comfy. Very comfortable there. Nice big window. You know, people sitting there, they like to have that big window, which is nice. And this is removable. It slides back. It slides yeah. forth. And then also, for skinnier guys, not guys, it's this quite of my dramatic. stature here. <laughs> Sorry. You can, uh, Look you have that. an extension. Ladies and gentlemen, so that's amazing. The, the extension, someone can sit here and they have an extension here. They can sit here, here. You get four people around this table, which is just amazing, and it moves back and forth. So it does. Depending on how your girth is here, which is pretty nice. Your stature. Your stature, I like that. Girth uh, just sounds like you're fat. <laughs> I mean, I don't know girth. girth. Oh, that's a different video. <laughs> Irving made my girth grow. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Check that video out. Yes. Um, Nick, let's look up above, and maybe I'll grab the ladder. You can demonstrate. So this is a pop top, which is pretty cool. I'm very popular. Awesome. Yeah. So how many people does this sit and sleep? So this has four seat belts, and it sleeps for very comfortably. I always joke and say that's the penthouse up there. Uh, we sold a pop top version like this the other day to a couple, and, the, and they were arguing over who's going to sleep up top because the husband was going to sleep up top and the wife down below, and then they're like, no, we're going to switch every other day. And like <laughs> everyone fights over who's going to sleep up top. It's just so nice up there. The air flows nice. Yeah. It's it's comfortable. You feel like you have a lot of space and room and all that. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. If you got the grandkids with you oh, oh they geez. go um, oh 100 percent 100 percent those are the other people we sell these to are people with grandkids yeah. that want to go occasionally so they have someone for them to go when they don't go the pop tops down and you don't even know you have it yeah so it's, so it's nice it's really tall um, yeah let's show that let me jump up perfect. i'm gonna grab the ladder perfect nice very easy lithium coming up so nick Clearly, this is the stairway to heaven. This uh, is the stairway to the penthouse. <laughs> the penthouse. To the penthouse. Um, so what, what's gonna, what can we expect upstairs? Yeah, so there is a light up there. There is a skylight on the roof that you can open up, get some fresh air. It's also nice, the canvas sides, they do unzip kind of like this, and they give you a screen to where, to where you can let air in and light in it and all of that. I do like, there's a really cool dimmable light up there as Maybe well. Maybe you can grab the camera. Do I get the honors of filming? Yes. Oh my goodness. Be very gentle. Very <laughs> gentle. I'm not usually on this side of the camera. So you see, so that right there, you can unzip it and there's a screen there. This in the middle here is a light that you press a button and that light dims. This one here is the same and it's really comfortable. I've actually laid on this. Um, you put your head right here, your feet down there. Very, very comfortable. And then as you come down, you see here as well, this one has the screen and it's open just like the other one. So pretty unique up there. Um, lots of space, yeah. lots of fresh air, lots of all of it. So it's, it's cool. It's pretty amazing. Uh, let's talk about the galley next. Wait till you see the bathroom. You're going to be amazed, like amazed. And before we do the galley, just some extra storage here. So above uh, the cab, there's a little bit here. The pizza oven is up here. The this is what they call oven, it. Right. And a little bit of storage here. Storage which is there. Nice, right. So Two, Nice big ones. I'll open that so you can film it. Yeah. So you got one there, and then you got a separate one here as well. Dynamic. So that there has plugs in it. Um, it also has a port from the roof, which is nice. Uh -huh. There is a uh, smart TV here. So this can swivel to face the front, face the back. That's nice which is nice. It's up and out of the way too, yeah. which is nice. So and if you smart, don't need it, it's gone. And smart TV means apps so you can run Netflix and apps, right from everything. the TV itself. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right, so let's show the galley. This thing is really cool. We're going to save the best for last, which is the bathroom. Uh, so kind of give us a what's up on this. Yeah, of course. So nice galley. I like when the galley extends a little bit into the door because then you can serve stuff outside. Um, there is there's a countertop extension as well. So if you're making a drink, making a sandwich, 
You can use this to serve. You can be cooking here, induction stove. I really like, this is pretty unique. So imagine you're washing something this size. It can fit all in the sink. You can move this around, you can clean it. You know, a lot of, a lot of sinks don't, in small RVs do not have this type of flexibility. So, you know, I know that's a lot more detail than we usually do, Scott, but no, I think people seeing and feeling how they can use an RV is very important. It's the practicality which matters. So yes, that was, 100%. That was beautiful. And I do like your point on seeing out, so the Grand Canyon here, not the next. Not the next RV. <laughs> but pretty cool. Some cabinetry here. Yes, nice big cabinets, nice different sections all the way down. There is a, a fridge and freezer as well. Nice. Um, and then you have a little, like a spice rack almost, oh, yeah. which is cool. That's kind of a road trek thing. And this is their chestnut. So this is their, probably right now the most popular color that, that road trek is making in their cabinetry. This is called the chestnut. Um, I really like the feel of it yeah. and you know, it is it is nice. Yeah, and it's not dark, it's not light, it's kind of in between. Yeah. So yep. road trek is kind of famous for dark interiors and this they, is they not. Do. They've it's been making a cherry for a long time. Yeah, and they're getting away from that this cherry is, is and doing more of this chestnut now. Um, and then the, the kind of a burst aluminum, that's kind of a road trek thing. Yeah. So it off. has a light up, up here, which is cool. <laughs> and then uh, there's a microwave. There's uh, a microwave. And induction cooktop. Induction cooktop, yes sir. Which uh, maybe just take a second and tell us about lithium because that's a big deal in yeah. these days. So this has 600 amp hours of lithium batteries, has an underhood generator, it has solar, it has a 3000 watt inverter. So lots of capability with camping off the grid without needing to be plugged in, without needing uh, a, a big Onan generator that's loud and uses your fuel. This has the lithium battery. So Road Trek recently upgraded to 600 amp hours and everything they do now. That's pretty really nice. So this is, like I said a minute ago, one of the only or the only pop top with full lithium capabilities, Capability. which is nice because most of them have have a generator or have nothing. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Um, is there propane on board? There is propane on board. For heat and hot water. For the, the Truma system, yeah, yes. Truma still requires that. I'm yes, sure they're they, working they on that. Pretty cool galley. Awesome lithium system. But I think the coolest thing about this is the coup de gras. It's French for oh my gosh, right? Oh my gosh. OMG, as my teenagers would say. This is the, how do you say it? The driest wet the bath? The driest wet bath in the world. Now, at a glance, you're like, this is cool. There's the toilet. There's the Cassette sink. toilet, sink. Here's the shower. You're like, so what's so special about this? I don't know. Nick? You snap your fingers. Snap your fingers. And then all of a sudden, no it all way. goes away. In a van. In a van. So now you have a shower stall that's as big as at least most KOA shower stalls. You're yep. not showering with the toilet, and it simply pivots. Hey. That's really What oh. do you know? A pivot. A pivot. So I'm a big dude, right? Yeah. Six foot, 230 pounds. I can shower in here, I can move around. So shower head's here, so I can get under the shower head. You know, whatever I need to do, I have the space in here to do it in what you would call a dry bath. Right, this is so great. So European, really. That's well, the first so, man I've seen. So this is what they have in there. So the owners of Road Trek is Rapido. They're from France. They have 11 different RV manufacturers in France, all over Europe, and this is what they do there. So this is just a small hint of what they're trying to bring to to the United States and their stuff. So and I, I like this. Like, how cool what is that? A like a glass and the that, you know, it's just all kinds of stuff. Appropriate controls, appropriate shower head, just yeah. so nice. Maybe swing that. Uh, let's see the toilet because everybody likes to talk about toilets. And it's got a little bit of cubby Slow space motion. here, right? And, and if you turn this light off, check this out. So those are backlit. How cool is that? Oh yeah, that's cool. So some toiletry and stuff, it doesn't get wet. Uh, wow, this is like, ooh, beautiful sink. And it is a cassette toilet. A lot of these a lot of these RVs have been moving to cassette toilets. Yeah. Um, some people love them, some people hate them. Maybe a demo the door for it, because this is kind of cool. So what that means is there's no shower curtain to be sticking to you as you're Correct. showering, which Correct. is super big. Yes. And super big in my boat. Nice door. Yeah. It kind of gives that that feel yeah. through, through the rest of the RV, too. It doesn't just give you some some wooden door that yeah. kind of you know, takes like, like this is neat looking, you know? And it's private, it's not see-through, so you can do your thing in here without everybody watching. Really a nice mirror here, which yeah. is really unusual. You can almost see your entire self. Uh, uh, a little hook here to hang stuff. So I like it. Yeah. The driest yes. wet bath in the world. It's, it's, I'm, I'm Or in hooked. this part of the world. So let's talk about the bedroom. How does this work? Yeah, so these can be twin beds. Um, also, very, very simple and easy. So you have to back up a, a few inches. Look at this. In a matter of seconds, you now have a king-size bed. 
That's beautiful. So if you just laid it down on your side there like that, you now have a king size bed, which is very easy and nice. Um, you can sleep front to back, you can sleep side to side. Most people would opt to sleep front to back, it's yeah. just a little easier. Um, but, but it's cool because when you're done with it, slide that up, slide this up, and now it's gone. Now it's gone. And you can probably almost figure out a way to leave your bedding on. So it's like a twin Correct. sheet here, kind of a twin twin, so yep. you can really not remove your bedding every day, which is kind of a big deal. That is true. Um, that is really cool. So storage, let's look at the storage above. And, and remember what I, was, oh. what I was showing you about these lights yeah. earlier, check this out. So this light, this strip here is a strip of lights that you can dim oh, yeah. off and you can dim it on as well. Like how cool is that? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think those are really cool lights. Um, yeah, so you have a small wardrobe closet here. So you hang some shirts in here. Um, and then they give you a bunch of little things here. I like how when you lift it up, it just stays up. Yeah. You know, nice, nice, totally strong, hinge. strong hinges. <laughs> Those are kind of unusual sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it's just cool. Big storage. Yep, one there, two on this side as well. Yep. So very neat. And then underneath here, there's some nice storage as well. Um, if you're familiar with the Road Trek Zion, which is another one they make, this whole area are drawers. So they kind of took that because people love all of the extra storage through here. Yeah. And, and they gave them, I mean, look at this, uh, yeah, tons. Huge. Tons of storage all the way through here. This is going to be where your inverter is in here. So you got your inverter, your solar charge controller, and some of your electronics. You probably don't want to store things in there, Scott. Right. This is <laughs> That's a good hot tip. <laughs> hot, yeah, yeah. You do not want to store things in there. Here's more storage here, and here. I mean, check that out. Where yeah, do you see storage it's like that? Yes, huge. Yeah, and you know the other thing that I love, you know, this area here. I've talked to people that said that there's three people are going to be sleeping in the coach. You got one sleep here, one they can do an air mattress on the floor, and then the third one can sleep up here. So you can kind of, you know, if you don't want to be in the same bed, you can have three separate sleeping situations. And still more storage, unbelievable. Quite that. honestly, that's crazy, the, right? The most storage I've ever seen. <laughs> And the other thing, um, Nick, that's really important is garage storage. So even with the bed up or down, you can store your grill, maybe some chairs and a table for yeah. outside, dog kennel. So dog maybe this kennel. Is the dog wants to sleep uh, during the night, which is Ca just amazing. Cat litter box, Cat litter golf box. clubs, fishing poles, anything you want can be stored in this middle area. So tell us about the AC question. So there is, it is a G, it's a 110 air conditioner. Um, and it is, they did have to push it all the way back because of the pop top. Yeah. Um, and then there is, and then the Truma controls are back here as well. So this is your hot water and your furnace controls too. So pretty cool setup. Everything is controlled on a Firefly that's up front. So it does have the Firefly that can be controlled on, on your phone app as well. Um, so lots of cool technology. Yeah, which is great. I even see some cool technology like a speaker for uh, sound in the bedroom, which is pretty great. Yeah, speakers, yeah. USB ports everywhere. Windows, so they open? They do, yep, they slide they open. Slide. Okay. This is a nighttime shade here. This is daytime here. You have your screen there to keep those big yeah. old mosquitoes out. Yeah, right. Uh, so great. Yeah. So uh, lots of, lots of, I mean, now you can see why this thing got voted best new RV, right? Yeah, uh, because I mean, of the bathroom. The bathroom. The bathroom I there. love the pop top. Yeah. I love the lithium with the pop top and the bathroom. It's got the all best of, of four things, which yeah. is pretty amazing. Let's jump outside, Nick, and just show the folks around. Pretty cool van. you got to let us know what you think about this. Yes. And uh, by the way, if you're shopping for a Class B RV, you guys are kind of RV Class B specialists, right? Yes, that is all we do. Uh, we're in Gainesville, Florida. Uh, we're the number one Class B dealer in the state of Florida, number three in the whole nation. So pretty amazing that out of Gainesville we can sell that many Class <laughs> Bs, and we just have fun doing it, and Scott. And you guys it's have a blast. the best brands, right? So you got Road Trek, clearly. What else? Road Trek, Winnebago, Coachman, Class Bs, American Coach, um, Class Bs, which are some very luxurious. Winnebago's, everybody knows Winnebago's, top, you know, the great line and Road Trek's awesome as well. Yeah. Tell, tell us about your service, because that's a really big thing in the van market. Yeah, so so we have our Sunshine Elite Club. Um, we guarantee a service appointment within five days if you buy an RV from us. Guarantee you break down or uh, your AC stops working. You're about to go on a trip on Friday. Monday, you realize your AC doesn't work. You call us, we get you in, and our goal is to get you fixed within those uh, five days. Uh, we also do tech support over the phone. So no matter where you're at in the country, if you don't live in Florida, 
we do tech support. You call, we get you on phone with the technician, and they help walk you through whatever issues you have. Yeah, I think there's one of the best um, in that regard for servicing vans. So, yeah. All thank right, you. thank you for that. Yes, um, sir. Do hit them up, tell them Scott sent you. Not that I get anything from it other than <laughs> more time with Other than a they, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> which is okay. But let's look outside this amazing rig. It's the big uh, road trek screen in the back. It's also pretty unique. Uh, most pop tops don't have awnings. Mm. So this has a power awning. That's which is. this side, right? Yep, the awnings right here, which is pretty nice. So power awning with uh, LED lights as well. Um, and then and then this is on the ProMaster chassis. So this is the new ProMaster chassis that has the 9-speed transmission, the big 10-inch navigation screen, the push-button start, all the safety features that, that ProMaster is starting to offer on their uh, on their chassis. They're, they're, they're finally getting up to where Ford and Mercedes are, Scott. It's know, right? pretty amazing. And behind door number one yep, is? Behind door number one is a propane fill. Propane fill. Yep. So this is pretty nice. I like the location of it because a lot of people have a little propane grill and they give you an extension that you can extend off of your tank, hook to your propane grill, and you can grill without having to carry a second tank. That's important. So they put it here on purpose okay. for that reason. That's part of your patio. It's yeah. And you have stuff. this out. You have a couple lights. You got your propane grill. You have a plug out here, so you have music. Yep. You have your whole thing set Access up. Access to the galley here. Access to the bar. And this is kind of a road truck thing, which is powered steps, right? Yep. So when Power. you close the door, it goes in. Yep, dually steps, and they're nice and big. They're not real thin steps. Nice and big, so you don't trip. Nice big handle here as well, going in and out. So, you know, when this is down, so this is down here, like that. So you got plugs here too, but you have a nice big handle step to walk in the coach. And the property place lights front and back, which is yes, nice. Yes, very nice. Uh, so, you know, ProMaster chassis kind of speaks for itself. I like how Roadtrek paints all the bumpers. They do a full body paint. It's not just the uh, the black cladding right. on the bumper. So, you know, Roadtrek does that. And they also, Scott, have their signature. So back in the 70s and 80s, every van they made, and even 90s and 2000s, had those three windows on top. And they were actual windows. And so people kind of got to know the brand based upon those three windows. And so now, when you see those three windows, they're not always real windows. You know it's road truck. You though. know it's road truck. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. It is a road truck driving down the road. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. Another power step. Power step here, so they come out pretty nice. So that's nice, nice big step, walking and out. Like I mentioned about the, the, uh, the you know, ProMaster. Okay. This one actually has adaptive cruise. It has, I mean, so many of those nice new options that ProMaster is starting to offer. Catching up, as you say. Yeah, so this is the cassette toilet here. They do give you a, a macerator, so there's no other ProMasters I'm familiar with that give you a macerator either. That's They're cool. all gravity-fed tanks, so they give you a nice, long macerator hose. Interesting. And down yeah. here is maybe water? Down here is nothing. Nothing. So this, just, this is the, this the, is the macerator, macerator hose okay. here. So. It's all in that little compartment right yeah, yeah. there. So you open that up and the big macerator hose comes out. And that's for the gray because this is where the black is. Yep, right? that's for the gray. And any idea how big the gray is? Because it's got a nice shower. You might actually uh, want to use it. I do not. We'll look. So we'll put the uh, <laughs> specs and the uh, We will put the specs. Um, at the end of the video. Stay for that. And this is, I think, the water. Outside thing? shower. Outside shower. Okay. Yep. And, and so they do make this, Scott, without the slumber. So if you didn't want the pop top, you just wanted the van with that real fancy bathroom, the twin beds in the back, the four seats in the front, you can have the same van without the pop top, and that's just called a, a pivot. A pivot. So Nick, just thanks again for showing us around. This is really yeah, a compelling rig. I'm really liking it for the bathroom. I'm telling you, no pop top needed for me, but for a lot of people, I just yeah. say it's really hot. Maybe just help us with um, availability since it's new. What's the availability yeah. like? So like I said, this is the prototype. So we are taking orders now. We took an order yesterday on it actually, and they're saying in the next three or four months, um, they've already have a lot in production right now, so you know April to May, so I would say would be fairly soon. This yeah, be January. yeah, no, they're uh, they're ready to roll with it. They are and, ready. And warranty? Warranty. So road check. Every road check comes with a two year motorhome warranty. So everything in this coach is covered for two years. Promaster comes with a normal three year thirty six or five year sixty. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's double most other warranties yeah, in the it's industry. Pretty impressive. Yeah. And pricing is kind of not really to be determined, but it's there's a it, show price, but it's there is a show price. I think MSRP right now is like 187. 187. Um, but you know, the ProMaster is about to have a new chassis, the 23 chassis. So who knows where that's going to go? And it's a, pricing is so fluid right now. It, it really is. is. Unfortunately, it really is. I feel for everybody 
pricing is so fluid right now. <laughs> it is ever changing. Yeah, it's and you know, and it's easy for me to say, don't worry about the price. Find the perfect RV for you. But I know price is such a big deal. It's kind of a big and deal. so you know, yeah, it's tough. Just um, thanks again for taking the time. Yeah, man. Just being a great uh, supporter of the van community. If you're shopping for an RV, you guys check these guys. I'll put them on your short list because they really do an amazing job. Thank you for that, Scott. I appreciate you, man. See you soon. We got time on our side. We're in a state of home. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. We got everything here, at least to stay alive. I saw you